Shalom, all praise to see how we'll bash them and I'll by Shem Haraka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole four let. This is an update. Um, Paya Allah. And um, this is uh, the date. Today is the 4th of March 2022. All right. And this is dealing with um. The, this is the year as a creed, uh, by apostar, the year the turn up, and it stays turning up. All right. Um, I got an article here from Daily Mail. It says um the title reads Putin's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, likens the U.S. to Nazi Germany, and repeats warning that World War Three can only be nuclear, in latest TV rant. Now, in in respect to the title, it really is, um, you know, this is as they have as you have a shy spoke. All right, he said, if Satan be divided against Satan, how then shall his kingdom stand? All right, and um, this man that's in rulership is Satan. All right, I told you in Job nine twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. Cover the face of the judge thereof, if not wearing who is he? And then Malachi goes straight for the juggler and breaks down an Edom, all right? Esau Edom is basically um, the wicked, all right? The border of wickedness. So this, we are dealing with Satan, all right? And he is divided along the lines of Russia and America. And in that division being made, Really, <laughs> the main corporate of um, antagonizing everything. I mean, they're both devils. One was gonna do it ultimately, but um, in this situation, it's it's um these devils in America. All right. Through the NATO agreement, uh, that was established, they've they've basically broken it, and moving closer to to basically. You know, the corner in Russia, all right? And Lavrov is right in what he's saying because ultimately that's where it's going to um, culminate to, all right? So it says, uh, let's read it. So it says, Sergei Lavrov has repeated this his warning that World War Three would be nuclear while at the same time accusing the West of fixating on his dire threats of destruction, all right? And he ain't wrong in what he's saying. He's right, all right? He's actually he's, he's the spirits on him to prophesy and let it be known, right? And the Heavenly Father's pouring his, pouring his spirit upon all men and he's making it known, man. This ain't going to be no pion pion gun, you know, gunfight. No, this is going to be, you know, the heavens breaking out, man, and, and fire, mushroom clouds going up to the heaven and rolling out like a scroll and, and you know, of the wormwood being cast out, it's gonna be a heavy destruction. So this is Isaiah, Isaiah nine and five. For every battle of the warrior, it's a confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But it shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this this war is gonna be done with what burning and fuel of fire. All right. So it ain't gonna be like the old school wars. With, with swords swinging and all that type of stuff. The foreign minister also compared the US to Nazi Germany in his latest rant for, uh, after Russian forces seized the Black Sea regional capital of uh, Kurzon in Ukraine, its first major city after a week of fighting. Vladimir Putin's lackey said today it is clear that World War Three can only be nuclear. And he, they ain't nothing lackey about that. He's saying... So real talk, all right. This is what we're on the cusp of, all right. Now remember, oh man, I feel like the spirit told me to jump into scriptures, so let me just pull them out while the strike while the iron is hot. Revelation seven and one, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. 
And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So you had these four angels that were commanded by the, the angel with a seal, the living power, to hurt not the earth, man. They were holding that that destruction back, man. Because why? Revelations 11, 14 tells you that the, the third world cometh quickly. Right? It's, it's right there. It's ready to be let go. It's like pulling back an elastic band and holding it. It's ready to go, man. All is way all the band is waiting for is for the release, and then it's all action, all right? I'd like to, I would like to point out that it's in the heads of Western politicians that the idea of nuclear war is spinning constantly, and not in the heads of of Russians. Therefore, I assure you that we will not allow any prov uh, provocations to throw us. Off balance, all right. And there's many different. If you do do a little research into it, there's many reasons why the West feels like it's the appropriate time to attack. I'm trying to remember there was a documentary I watched a while ago. It's escaping me. The clip is is I just envision it, but um, basically it was to the point of after the Cold War. There was a moment, I forgot what moment precisely, or it may have been in the 1990s. At some point, they said they wanted to attack Russia because they, they, they weren't ready. It was before they became a nuclear power, something like that. So basically, they wanted to blow Russia off the face of the earth. But um, I think, ah, that's it, it's a podcast I was listening to, dealing with um, Lyndon um, B. Johnson and... Um, uh, dealing with like the majors that was set up in place, the generals, they wanted to, you know, they were gun home and wanted to destroy Russia. But I believe, um, yeah, because it was dealing with Kennedy. It's a reason why Kennedy's presidency. I'll dig it up, Lord willing, and um, at some point bring it back up if the spirit wills. But yeah, they wanted to destroy Russia before, but I believe Kennedy wanted to deal with them diplomatically. All right. But now they feel like it's a perfect time to strike because of factors like the population of Russia's uh, des like descending. There ain't going to be as many um, uh, military-capable men within the, within the uh, city, the country, sorry, amid many other factors, all right? So as therefore, I assure you that we will not allow any provoke prov provocations to throw us off balance. On Sunday, Russian Pre President Vladimir Putin ordered Russian, Russia's nuclear forces be put on high alert, accusing the West of taking unfriendly steps against his country. Moscow has the world's largest arsenal of nuclear weapons and a huge cache of ballistic missiles which form the backbone of the country's deterrence forces. The move was followed up by comments from Lavrov yesterday in which he warned another world war would be nuclear and destructive. In separate comments today, Lavrov accused the US of trying to conquer Europe. All right. Um, he told Sky News, Napoleon and Hitler had the objective to have the whole of Europe under their control. Now Americans have got Europe under their control. <laughs> and... I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy, but through the spirit, you know, that is the case. And only with that being said, Europe is going to only side with Russia. That's the prophecy of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Let me quickly read that. So there's a book of... um. Uh, Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon a beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. Alright, so NATO and the EU are basically going to wind up doing what? 
destroying the whore and making her desolate and naked. And she'll eat her flesh and burn her with fire. They're going to use their missiles to assist Russia in destroying America and turn it into the lake of fire as prophesied in the book of Revelations. For the most I have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. All right. So they're all in cahoots right now for this moment, but ultimately they're going to join Russia in destroying America. We see that the situation, what role uh, the EU is really playing in context of the global situation, they're just fulfilling a role. We see that there's a picture like in Hollywood of absolute evil and absolute good and this is unfortunate I think that this hysteria will end and our partners will settle down after a while and we will sit down to negotiate but only on one absolute condition and that is as equal parties alright so yeah um, he said what he said World War 3 is on a cusp all right, and that's the main point. This is the Heavenly Father doing his his work, man. So let me read this. Revelation thirteen, Revelation thirteen, and um, um. Yeah, she just jumped straight to the point, man. Close up. So this is um actually another dude. So it's the book of Rev, uh, Ezekiel 38 and 2. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Right, Gog and Magog's talking about Russia today. Right. And um, this is the words for Russia. Right. The Heavenly Father is against him. Wag is Esau. And I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws and will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armour, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. All right. So basically the Heavenly Father's what? Putting that old spirit of the Cold War upon him. And that's why you have Lavrov making it be known that look, World War Three is going to be nuclear destruction, basically. 